T3 Tactile Tablet from Touch Graphics. T3 is a new touchscreen tablet computer. Students place tactile overlays on the T3, then follow spoken prompts as they explore raised line and textured images. Steve Landau, T3 developer. The history of the T3 really goes back to the very early days of teaching visually impaired students. Teachers would make very carefully crafted wooden diagrams and all sorts of models and then they would show them to their uh, visually impaired students and the teacher would have to describe the picture or the model to the student. The T3 is kind of an evolutionary stage of development in this very basic concept as the technology of tablets and touchscreens got better and better, we realized that we could make the T3 as a cloud-based interactive device using a inexpensive Android tablet with a couple of accessories added. Joshua Mealy, research scientist, explores the T3 with teachers of the visually impaired. It takes advantage of so much knowledge and learning about how to present information and how to make it useful, fun, and interesting for students who can't see. Student William Salaveri explores the T3 with his TVI. You learn more about what you're feeling and you're, you're curious about a different, different thought about uh, what this texture is. And I think that's definitely useful. For your gallery first floor map. Great, you found that title there. Corridor. Braille is powerful, but Braille is big and it takes up a lot of space on a tactile picture. So using this idea of audio tactile interactive computing, you now can remove all of that Braille and still have tons and tons of description. In fact, you can have much more. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It has a diameter of almost 89,000 miles or 143,000 kilometers. With the T3, we can have an infinite amount of, of contact. T3. That kind of information would be impossible to include in a tactile diagram. The idea of combining speech feedback with tactile graphics, this is beautifully compact. The pin system aligns the, the tactile graphic on the tablet the camera system and the barcode system allows the tablet to identify the sheet quickly. We've added this metal, called the mirror hood. It's also a carrying handle, but this has a mirror on the underside and the camera bounces its view off of the mirror and it can see this QR code displayed on the screen. Yu Ting Su, teacher of the visually impaired. The T3 is everything that teachers have been waiting for. Whether you're a classroom teacher or a TVI, this is the perfect piece of classroom technology that can bridge learning in a classroom. Student Milo Mineta Tomlinson. With the T3 that kind of like takes the middleman out of the equation. Kids could truly learn from home completely independently. This kind of layered information can achieve a kind of density of knowledge that would be absolutely impossible to do with traditional tactile graphics. Jessica McDowell, teacher of the visually impaired. Now can you find the room 17 where that little square representing the statue is? 17. Nice, nice. Yeah. Cosmic Buddha statue. Yeah. Nice. And now I'm going to give you, we're going to zoom in a level. Okay, so it's uh, full yeah. statue. Yeah, so you can... Here, some text reads, Cosmic Buddha statue front. The illustration of the statue is below the text. Yeah, so you can kind of go around the perimeter of the statue and get an idea of, of like where that is on the page. What's happening there? Head of the Cosmic Buddha. <laughs> Chest of the Cosmic Buddha. Nice. Tactile reading requires a kind of exploratory strategy where you accumulate an understanding of what it is that you're looking at. It's a really great way to build conceptual knowledge. Linda Myers, teacher of the visually impaired. People aren't born with the skills to be able to interpret maps, and so we have to teach it. On a new college campus, if they have a map, then they'd be able to find the star for where they are and develop a route from where they are to the building that they need to get to. We created the T3 as a way of helping people 
to acquire these skills and to achieve this new kind of tactile mindfulness. What I love about the T3 is that it allows students independent and efficient access to information. You can actually get a great deal of information onto a map like this and still keep the tactile really simple. I think the T3 would definitely be useful for learning uh, math and uh, engineering because it would just really explain to you different diagrams and such. So in my history class, there's a lot of visual things that um, my history teacher brought up. I couldn't see any of them. So having something like a T3 to describe those visual aspects would be fantastic. There are a lot of applications for the T3. I think about in chemistry, right? What an atom looks like, or biology, what a certain organ of, organ of the body looks like, or even in art, honestly. Like, that's something that is often, like visual art, very inaccessible to, to blind people. A skillful tactile reader can interpret quite complex graphics as long as they have description combined with the tactile pictures. We can connect a device like this to a braille embosser so that it would be possible to simply send the tactile picture to the student to uh, learn about that new content without having to wait for someone to come to the house or to wait for the mail to deliver this thing. Just like every other student, students with visual impairments need the kind of instantaneous access to information that has become uh, the hallmark of, of, our, of our modern world. You know, you could have all these graphics that we don't have to keep remaking. Yeah. You know, hundreds of, the, of teachers all over the country remaking the same graphic over and over. If you just have these standardized sets on the T3, then you can really focus your time making the truly custom graphics that you need to make. Yeah, mm -hmm. there are not nearly enough TVIs in the world to give every blind kid the amount of time and the amount of tactile literacy and braille education that they need. It's good to have the opportunity for independent learning. They start to build that, that idea that I'm I'm only learning when I have that adult next to me, so that it's great if they have an accessible way to be just hanging out and exploring. Selected Tasmania in the Australia Continent Index. Follow the rising pitch tone to find Tasmania. Indian Ocean. This is Tasmania. So that's, that's super cool. That's so cool. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah, the T3 can also be fun just with different interactive uh, ideas. Different. It could be um, for maps. Definitely, it's a good good idea. Interactive maps and feel them. Well, when other people can see them, you can actually feel the map. There's a whole uh, Braille literacy curriculum in here that I was noticing that I think would be extraordinary. It's necessary for us to support third-party creators. That's why we're working on a new app called T3 Creator. And this is going to permit anyone to recreate their own auditory labels. Teachers can develop their own materials. It really opens up a lot of possibilities for interactive lesson design. Having our kids become tactically literate is so important because then they can go out and as consumers they're going to be going to BART and saying, hey, I want, a, I want a map of this. As adults, or even as students, they can advocate for more tactile graphics in their environment mm -hmm. if they have the skills to use them. Neptune. Neptune has a diameter of about 30,700 miles or about 49,500 kilometers. It's the most elegant audio tactile graphics system that's ever been created. This is, has it all, you know, we have the tactile and the audio feedback and so it's, it's really a great product for our students. T3 is great for independence. It would be fantastic to have uh, T3s inside a classroom. Easy interaction, easy sheet swapping, easy sheet identification, and very accurate touch identification. It's really a remarkable achievement. The T3 is empowering. It's something that can be done independently. 
we think that we can really help people to, to regain that feeling of not needing to always ask for help. Can't skip ahead like that. Oh, I You're skipped ahead. Step two. Try again. Step two. Land ho. Follow. Ah. The T3 is easy to use. It's easy to understand. And it speaks to all levels of student and user. It's an engaging technology that engages everybody. T3 Tactile Tablet Logo. T3 was invented by a team of designers, engineers, and educators, including Nikki Rittenauer, Graphic Design, Gina Klepper, Production, Steve Landau, Design, Zach Eveland, Programming, Lucia Hasty, Braille, Janice Bainson, Management, Hemshan Subrian, Experimental Design and Evaluation, Josh Mealy, Concept, Advisors, Yu Ting Su, San Francisco State University, Sheila Omoran, University of Michigan, University Partner, Center for Inclusive and Environmental Access, University at Buffalo, School of Architecture and Planning, Video Production, Malachi Roth. This work was carried out under a Phase II SBIR grant from National Institute for Disability, Independent Living and Rehabilitation Research, NIDLR, part of the Administration for Community Living, ACL, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Grant Officer for NIDLR, Brian Bard, National Institute for Disability, Independent Living and Rehabilitation Research logo. Touch Graphics logo. Copyright 2022 by Touch Graphics.